When you graduate school, you are pushed into a different world that is filled with possibilities and uncertainties. Most graduates soon realize that degree does not actually prepare them for what's out there in the world. There is less or more independence. They are faced with fresh challenges, different from the ones they are used to in school. And as a result, they may begin to worry about all this. According to the National Alliance on Mental Health, 75% of mental health conditions begin by age 24. This indicates that college years and graduation from college can be a particularly challenging time emotionally. Andrea Bard, Associate Professor of Communication at SNHU and Student Advisor, said she often likes to compare the terrible twos of the terrible twenties. Andrea said, when babies turn two years old, they can be really difficult because they're figuring out how to be independent from their parents. When students are in their twenties, they are kind of doing the same thing, only bigger. They're trying to figure out how to be independent in the whole big world. According to a study published in 2016 by Mike Luman and Lewis Hawkley, titled Age Differences in Loneliness from Late Adolescence to Oldest Old Age, that young adults, particularly those in their 20s, are one of the loneliest populations when compared to other age groups. The study posited that contrary to common stereotypes, loneliness is not restricted to old age but can occur at any life stage. According to Broderick PC and Blewett P in their 2006 publication, The Lifespan, Human Development for Helping Professionals, experiencing anxiety and depression during this important time of your life is not uncommon. That feeling of, now what, can stop you in your tracks. Confusion about what to do next, whether you can afford independent living, and who will be part of your next stage is exacerbated by an abrupt change in routine. The structure and schedules you followed for the first 17 or 18 years of your life have suddenly disappeared, leaving you more self-reliant than ever. This can bring a sense of overwhelm and vulnerability that contributes to depression and anxiety. A 2008 study published in the Journal of Anxiety Disorders by Baron von H., Bredemeyer K., and Thompson R.J., found that uncertainties about the future can cause significant, sometimes paralyzing, distress and anxiety. Also, uncertainty, loss, and unrealistic expectations can be responsible for this anxiety. In a piece written by Emily Deaton and medically reviewed by Christy Hartman, PhD Psychology, the writer wrote that if you're not quite sure what career path to take after completing your studies, especially if you have student debt, the pressure to make the right decision can also make you feel lonely, anxious, and depressed. If that weren't bad enough, after finally deciding what career path to follow, many young adults struggle with their first job. Whether you don't like your co-workers, finding your job boring, or the idea of working at a desk until you retire makes you want to cry. Adjusting to your first job and the loneliness and isolation you feel at work isn't easy. Facing the uncertainties of life may be scary, but so is losing the friendship you have built over the years while in school. As soon as you graduate, you and your friends would have to go in separate directions. Some may head over to another city or country while you get a job in another town. You may be leaving your environment for the first time and may not be used to being away from the people you love and care about. Your parents, friends, and loved ones. This can feel like a serious loss and oftentimes leads to what experts call separation anxiety and adjustment difficulties. The American Psychiatric Association in 2013, titled Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, posited that separation anxiety isn't just for young children but can happen to people of any age. According to authorities like Mayo Clinic and Anxiety Canada, life stressors and transitions like graduation can cause separation anxiety. Feeling a sense of loss and mourning your old life can make it difficult to adjust to your new situation. Even when you feel positive and excited about your new independence, it's normal to develop anxiety and or depression as you get used to your new circumstances. Julie Frager, a psychologist based in San Francisco, said, if a student's college experience is mostly positive, college provides a cocoon of such, a community of friends, teachers and mentors who are mostly readily available to offer support or advice. Graduating symbolizes a leap into adult life, which is a huge transition. Cheryl Ziegler, 
a Colorado psychologist who has many young clients, said, "They often have trouble motivating themselves to get a job. They are often lonely due to a lack of connection with friends. While young adults are in college, they may have been in an environment that was more accepting of alcohol and recreational drug use, and while depressed, it's possible that this is being used as a coping mechanism." This feeling of loneliness and confusion after graduating may be why millennials spend so much time on social media. In order to suppress the depression they feel, this millennials frolic on social media. As Cheryl Ziegler said, they are following their friends on social media and have this out of proportion sense that everyone else has figured it out and is getting jobs. Ziegler said, they have a sense that everyone has it together, but them, which causes them to further isolate themselves. A study by the University of Pittsburgh Schools of Health Science found an association between high rates of depression and high rates of social media use. People who reported being depressed tended to be active on many social media platforms. According to a medical journal, Addictive Behaviors reports, depression in young adults often occurs right after they complete university coursework, often due to pressure to get a job right away or sadness, leaving their college peers and life behind. However, depression after college and feeling of loneliness are not the same thing. Where post-college loneliness is a normal feeling experienced after graduating from college, post-college depression is what occurs when a person experiences constant feelings of sadness, melancholy, aimlessness, emptiness, or misdirection, which just won't go away. How to deal with post-college loneliness or depression? According to Dr. Lotz Nelson, clinical mental health counseling faculty. At SNHU, students should consult with clinical mental health counselors to work through the emotional changes they might be experiencing and to assist them with the transitional process. These professionals have the necessary expertise and credentials needed to address students' concerns. Nelson also added that creating a daily schedule and having an action plan may help college graduates in reaching their personal and professional goals. Nelson stated that as a part of establishing students' goals. It is necessary that they develop smart goals. Employing a daily schedule will also greatly benefit the lives of the graduates, especially their mental health. According to a nationally ranked academic medical center, Northwestern Memorial Hospital (NMH), some benefits of a daily routine include better stress levels and improved mental health as a result of extra time to relax and less anxiety over making decisions on the go, better sleep habits, and increased mental sharpness. If the bedtime routine is also included in the schedule, better overall health due to extra planning. The more chores and activities are included in a schedule, the more organized one can become when it comes to developing healthy habits, such as eating breakfast on time or exercising. If this video inspired you, share the video with your friends. We love you.